there was an alicorn at the end of Make Your Mark. This mysterious and crazy mare wants to claim the crystals for herself. But who's really pulling the strings here? Could there be a far more sinister force behind all of this? And who is this alicorn? Okay, there's a lot to dissect here. First, there was an alicorn that wants to take over all of Equestria using the crystals. But many moons before that, there was a unicorn that almost separated all of the Equestrian tribes by claiming all unicorns were superior, which resulted in a rift between the tribes that forced Twilight to seal all magic into the crystals. So great, my theory just got flushed down the drain. Ever since the reveal of this alicorn, there has been a lot of chatter and speculation about who she really is. Is she Flurry Heart? Twilight? Cozy Glow? Grogar in makeup? Well, maybe not the last one, but who knows. It's too early to tell who exactly she really is, so all we have right now is speculations and accusations. She could be any one of these ponies, but to be honest, I actually don't think she's any of them. While it would be fun to see the return of Cozy Glow as an alicorn, that just doesn't seem possible. Why? There was no magic at the time. So unless Cozy Glow was freed before magic was sealed away, there's no possible way this could be her. But then there's the question of how she activated the recessive alicorn genes inside of her without being found out. Let's say I'm wrong and say that she was freed during the time of the main five. My question is, why did she suddenly grow? Does being trapped in stone let your body still grow? I mean, it traps you and stops your cells from replicating, meaning you shouldn't grow at all. There's just no possible way this could actually be Cozy Glow, which kinda sucks. I still really wanna know what happened to her and the rest of the villains. Maybe a video for another day. But what about Twilight or Flurry Heart? They seem much more suited to be the Alicorn, especially since they're, you know, already Alicorns. Well, it's possible it could be either of them. A corrupted Twilight that wants to protect Equestria using force would definitely be interesting to see on the Pony Box's monitors. But the same could be said for Flurry Heart, who probably wants to claim the crystal as her own. Who knows? Maybe the crystal came from the Crystal Heart, and now they need to return it for peace to be brought back to the Empire. It would fit in with the whole, now I can claim what is rightfully mine part, but would wanting to protect one's loved ones and home truly be considered evil? I mean, yeah, it does depend on how you do it, but still. Anyway, moral dilemmas aside, I think there's one more pony that we should really bring to this table, Radiant Hope. Originally orphaned at birth, she was a pony that saw the good in others and was extremely loyal to her friends. Maybe too loyal. She befriended Sombra and saw a vision of herself as a princess while Sombra glared into the eyes of his future self. I bet you had fun with that one, right Sombra? Plus Radiant Hope has the same fur color and mane as the mysterious Alicorn. Which is more than just a coincidence to me. And while we couldn't see it too well, the Alicorn could have been a crystal pony. She definitely has the hoofwear that screams it. Her mane style is even similar to how the royalty of the ancient crystal empire kept their manes. Hey, if you want to be a true theorist, you have to look at all of the sources. That means that this could actually be the first crystal pony we've seen since Twilight's time as a princess. And if this is Radiant Hope, then Equestria is about to get a whole new species in its borders, which will definitely lead to a major battle between the ponies and their shadows. And we'd finally get some answers as to what happened to the Crystal Empire after Twilight's reign. So you'd all better brush up on your ancient pony history. But aside from that, there's just something else that's been bothering me. This new alicorn, whoever she is, couldn't be the same mare that separated the pony tribes back in Twilight's era. The evidence for that just doesn't add up. I mean, how did she survive so long when Twilight is nowhere to be found? Why didn't she reveal that she was an alicorn beforehand? Her being the mysterious unicorn just leaves more questions than answers. And on top of that, she had more than enough time to take the crystals herself and use them after Twilight created them. But she didn't, so why would the alicorn hold off on that and wait so many moons for the ponies to unite them? Unless she wasn't the one pulling the strings. Someone planned all of this. Someone that wants to have all of the magic of Equestria in their hooves. This mysterious creature manipulated the events from the very beginning. They convinced that unicorn in the past to split the pony tribes up, knowing that would force Twilight to trap all of Equestria's magic into the crystals. Then they manipulated the Alicorn into thinking that she was the rightful ruler of all of Equestria. All she had to do 
was claimed the crystal. But why? Well, these crystals have been shown to have the magic of every pony and can even cause magic to evolve. Having control of all of that would not only be enough for you to rule all of Equestria, but it could also be used to create a weapon that could destroy Equestria itself, especially since everything has been centered around the crystals from the very beginning. But that's just my thoughts on all of this. For now, we just have to wait and see what happens and hope that the main five can handle it. I'll check in on what that beeping is in just a second. But first, let me know your thoughts on everything. And a special thanks to all of those that have already joined my Patreon with me and my friends. You've all made the Discord chat so lively. And a special thanks to everyone that's already joined my Alicorn and Creature tier. Princess Sam, Sapphire Sparkle, Trailblazer, Angel of Speed, and a very special thanks to my Derpy tier patron, Skarmax, who says that Spike is best pony. And Skarmax, what is this blasphemy? Anyway, thank you all for all of your support. It means the world to me. And if you want to join me on Patreon too, check out the link above. I'm Windstriker Brony, flying off until next Friday once I figure out how to get this thing working. Maybe it's this button? <laughs>